Hey, it's Rob with Inyo Pools. Today I want to show you how to repair the lid on a Hayward StarClear Plus filter. Um, this particular lid is for the C1750, but you can follow the same instructions for the C751, C900, and the C1200. Uh, so this is actually my brother-in-law's filter lid. Um, he called me and said after he cleaned the cartridge and he put this lid back on, he kept tightening the knob and it wouldn't tighten up. Um, so he asked if I could help him uh, fix it. Um, other issues might be if you notice that the bottom or that the, the lid starts to lift off the base um, it could be the same kind of issue with the issue is this knob on top has stripped out and needs to be replaced um, and you want to fix that if you notice that you're having a hard time tightening it down or the, the lid is lifting off the base you want to fix that right away because if for some reason this popped off while your pump was running and you're not home uh, you could uh, drain the pool or the um, the pump could run dry and you're gonna have bigger issues So you want to get that fixed uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you what we're going to use to uh, fix that knob Okay, so the C1750 and a C1900 would both use this knob which is a CX 1750G um, If you have a, a C751 900 or the 1200 you'd go with a CX900G. Um, and then also, I've got this um, knob accessory kit, which comes with the cone, the, the washers and O-ring, and the clip. Um, and the same kit can be used on all the StarClear Pluses, which uh, that's a CX900DA. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so obviously this lid is already off, but if yours is still on the filter, just make sure your pump is not running um, and then you can go ahead and remove the lid. All right. Then you'll want to uh, look at the inside. The first thing you want to do is remove that cone. All right. Try and get some good light in here. Uh, so what you'll notice at the bottom there is a, a metal clip that secures the knob uh, to the lid. So the first thing you need to do is uh, get a flathead screwdriver and you can pop that clip off. Let's see if we can do this here. All right, so you'll take a flathead screwdriver and you'll pop this metal ring off. All right, you can go ahead and remove uh, the metal ring. We've got a new one in the kit, so you don't need to keep that. Same thing with this washer you can remove that all right and then you can just pop the old knob off okay so the the issue is that the the threads on the inside of this knob are stripped out so that's why you typically have a problem with uh, tightening this knob or, or removing the lid it always usually comes down to this knob and the threads getting uh, stripped out there all right so if you notice there's an O-ring on the uh, old knob and the knob doesn't the new knob doesn't come with one but the O-ring comes with that kit that cone kit so you'll need to make sure you put that new O-ring on the new knob otherwise the water could leak through uh, the top of the filter so I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, magic lube on this O-ring and put it on Okay, uh, you'll notice that the kit comes with two uh, nylon washers. You'll put one on the knob here. Uh, the second one's gonna go on the underside of the filter. Then we'll take the knob with that washer and we'll put it there. All right, well then we'll take that second washer and we'll put it in there over the uh, knob. Um, and the last step is going to be securing this clip onto the knob. And what you're trying to do is, yeah, this is the old one, but um, basically what you're trying to do is get this clip to get in that groove. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, I'm trying to do this one-handed while I film. 
there snapped into place all right then you'll take the new cone and you'll just pop it in here like that and you're done all right so now uh, you would pop this back onto the filter it would tighten down easily and you're ready to go uh, if you have any questions about uh, star clear plus filters or anything pore spa related visit us over at annualpools.com thanks for watching